Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about Microsoft's Copilot and it will just be a quick introduction so that you can have a play around. If you're interested in playing around with Copilot with me, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've logged into my Microsoft Office account here and I've clicked on to Copilot and I can see a menu here. So I'm just going to make myself a little bit smaller so that I'm out of the way. I'm going to keep myself over here. And the interface is very different, right, to the other large language models that I've used before. So I think Copilot really is trying to encourage lifestyle use because we talk about travel, chat, organize, create, laugh, compare, make a song with Sumo. And then your conversational style, creative, more balanced, more precise, which is really interesting. So what I'm going to do is have a look I'm going to put in a prompt to see if it will give me any wonderful ideas for engaging inquiry mathematics learning experiences. And I'm going to put in my prompt. So I've looked at lots of different prompt development acronyms and frameworks, and I've kind of come up with my own. So let me just copy and paste that in there. So my framework is I-D-E-A-S and I'll make a separate video about this another time so that you understand the rationale of why I've chosen I-D-E-A-S. So my model is iterative and we start off with the I-D-E first, which is inquire, design and engage. So can you come up with an interactive fifth grade lesson plan on fractions, focusing on equivalent fractions, addition and comparison? Any ideas for engaging inquiry based activities? So that's me asking asking the generative AI, this large language model here, for some ideas. Design, can you draft a lesson with an engaging introduction to fractions, a hands-on activity that explores equivalency and a practical application for adding and comparing fractions? And then my engage bit is that I want it to be lively and I want fractions to be relatable and exciting for the 10-year-olds. And at the same time, I want to promote curiosity and interaction. So let's just hit the return button here. And I found that with Copilot, it normally takes quite a while to get a response. So I may just pause the video here. Otherwise, we'd be waiting for quite a while. I don't know if it's a glitch, but it normally takes a little while for me to get a response. And you can see I still don't have a response. So I'm going to just pause the video and I'll come back when it actually has generated a response. OK, so it's starting to generate a response now that you can see. Fun with fractions. It's giving me a lesson plan. So we'll just wait. That probably took, I would say, a minute or two instead of other tools that actually take 10 seconds. OK, so here we go. Let's scroll up to the top and see what it's given us. So introduction, 10 minutes, exploring equivalency. So I like how it says begin with a short story or scenario. OK, great. So that's a little bit like the three act math kind of framework, starting off with a scenario, a visual or a story. Exploring equivalency provides students with fraction strips, great or circles to explore equivalent fractions. So we could use Numicon, we could actually use the Cusinier rods as well. And students will work in pairs to find as many equivalent fractions as possible. OK, adding fractions, introduce adding Introduce additional fractions with like denominators with real life situations, such as combining parts of different ingredients to make a new recipe. OK, uh, students practice adding fractions through an interactive game where they collect parts to complete a whole. OK, it's not too bad. The idea practical application present problems that require the application of learned concepts in real life and then the closure. All right. So my model I-D-E-A-S, as you can see, inquire, design and engage. I actually have two more steps and those two more steps are adapt and be specific. So I-D-E-A-S, basically. So I'm going to ask now uh, this tool. I'm going to ask this model to actually adapt this and I'm going to be a little bit more specific because it's given me an outline. So let's specifically look at the, the story or scenario. So I'm going to say, can you give me more 
specifics about, and then let me just copy and paste that bit. The, the, I want to know more about the short story, the scenario where fractions are used. Um, and have something more specific. So this is my adapt and be specific. So I'm adapting what I see and the response that I have and then asking for more specifics. Okay, so let's see what output I have. Okay. Okay, this one's a bit faster than my initial prompt that I used. Okay, so here are some examples. Sharing a pizza. Begin by showing a picture of a pizza. That's nice. And asking students how they divide it. Okay. Measuring ingredients for a recipe. So show a recipe. Dividing treats among friends. Uh, I don't know if I like that one because that kind of promotes unhealthy eating if we look at cookies and candy. <laughs> or splitting a bill. I don't know if fifth graders would be really interested in splitting a bill because we want the context to be authentic. So maybe we have to go with just the typical problem of sharing a pizza. But something that I do like about Copilot is that it actually gives you some direct links to resources on this topic. And then I also want to read out to you the development of Copilot from Microsoft in terms of their app on iOS and both Android. So so Copilot can handle text, image, and code generation and is underpinned by either GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. So if you've got a Microsoft account, you've already got access for this. So for me, Copilot seems to be a nice additional tool, especially if you are in the Microsoft sphere and your school uses the 365 tools. Copilot is something that I think would be an added bonus or use. Uh, I'm still exploring it, like I'd like to explore a little bit more about the organized bit and see how useful this would be for teachers to plan or as an assistant. I'm sure that it is still developing and improving every single day. So if you're using Copilot, please feel free to put a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.